too fast? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Part 1. What is rollback? What does it mean for the M1GP? You may know from the guide made by Mars that we used to play online using VBA Link. What you may not know is that VBA Link is almost 20 years old. It's also closed source, which means it's a miracle it's held up this entire time since no one would be able to update it. We would have to pause for a few minutes for each match to try to reach 100% game speed, and then have to try again if the connection breaks, or if the game states fail to sync in the middle of the match. It took a lot of dedication to play on VBA Link, and that's before we talk about the lag and latency issues. This is where rollback comes in, as an alternative netplay approach. Older netcode solutions will increase the delay on your inputs, or even pause the game to compensate for lag, which can make it really hard to play. With rollback, it tries to avoid any of those things, so it allows for a much smoother experience. Your inputs will not be eaten by lag. Included down in the video description is a useful video explaining rollback in more detail. Part 2. Download and System Requirements the big green button on TangoBattle.com will download the latest Windows or Linux installer based on what you are running. There is no planned support for Mac. You do need to have a 64-bit computer in order to play using Tango, and the better your system specs and internet, the better your experience will be over long distances. Here you can read a developer's blog on how they achieve rollback of Tango. Join the Discord server for additional support. Follow the Twitter account for the latest updates and change the website's language. English, Japanese, traditional Chinese, and Spanish are all supported inside the Tango client. Part 3. Installing Tango and setup process with ROMs. This guide will cover the Windows installation process. Once Tango is downloaded, open it to launch the installer. If this does not work, your antivirus may have mistaken the installer for a virus. In this case, you will need to make an exception in your antivirus configuration for Tango. When you start Tango for the first time, you will be guided by a setup wizard. The first thing to do is to bring in your ROMs. The Tango directory will be in Documents. Please make sure that they have not been patched or modified in any way. Players need both versions of a game in order to play against opposite versions. For example, if you want to play Battle Network 6 Falzar against Battle Network 6 Gregor, both players will need both Falzar and Gregor version ROMs. In order to legally obtain your own ROMs, please refer to the video description on multiple ways to do so. The easiest method is dumping your ROMs using a DS or DS Lite with a flashcard in order to dump your GBA cartridges. Next, you need valid save files in order to play on Tango. If you have saves in VBA Link, this is how you create .save files which Tango can read. Load your game and save, and then save in game. This primes your game and allows you to export a battery file. Once this is generated, you are free to rename the save as you please and put in your Tango save directory. You just need to put in your nickname to finish the setup. Your name will be seen by players you match versus and in your replay file. Part 4. Playing and Patching To load a game, click on the drop-down list at the top. Once you select a game, you need to load the save you want to play with. You can store as many saves for a game as you want in the folder, so be sure to name them to make it easy to find what you want. If you load Battle Network 6, you will be able to see your Navi customizer, equip folder, and mod parts if you are playing the Japanese version of the game. Not all games support the save viewer yet. Below the games list is the patch list. Tango uses clean, unmodified ROMs in order to automatically apply your selected patch for you, so you don't have to modify your ROMs. As an example, I am loading the All-Stars patch here. If you want to play single player or edit your save, click the green play button in the bottom right. As you can see, the patch is active, and I am able to select from any 5 crosses from either Gregor or Falzar version.
The Bingus BN6 patch by Mars is our tournament mode patch, which cleans up post and client discrepancies. You can read more about each patch in the patches section. The Tango and Patch ecosystem is a new and growing development. Multiple developers are hard at work updating and introducing new patches for your improved experience. Please make sure to update your patches using the green button in the bottom right. In order to match with another player, you need to have the same link code. You can generate codes using the dice button here. They can be very entertaining and fitting. <laughs> I have brought in all of my saves from my games to show you what it looks like to select from multiple save files. I am going to play using a link navi save. You can see my navi customizer is completely empty. This is normal for the format. I have shared my link code with my opponent and have clicked the green fight button. I am now waiting for them to join. When both of you have connected, you will see the lobby screen here. You can see there is an orange triangle on my side. This is a warning that your games are not compatible. This is because I am not using the Bingus BN6 patch, so I can select it here to fix the problem. You can set your input delay here. Due to the nature of rollback, it is suggested you use the automatic recommended amount based on your ping. You can also both select to reveal setups so you know what the other is playing, similar to our new Moon Public setups format. This is strictly optional and off by default. Once you are ready, click the checkbox. Good luck, have fun! If you have the Discord activity status enabled, you will be able to use Discord integration to invite someone in chat to play. Press fight and then click the button next to your text box in Discord to set up a game invite. Others in Discord will be able to see the group. Someone who clicks on it will be able to play with you without needing to put in a link code. You do not need Discord activity status enabled to click on someone else's game invite to play with them. Part 5. Tango Replay System and how to process out your videos. Every match you play in Tango has the inputs and events from both players recorded. This will automatically generate out a replay file for each round. A triple battle is up to 3 rounds. Because Tango exports out by each round, we need another program to piece them together. We use AV Debugs for this process. The download link is also in the video description. Using AV Debugs is very simple. Open or drag and drop your first round into AV Debugs. Then use File, Append to add your second round, and third round if needed. Append automatically adds in the new video to the end of the current clip. Now press File, Save, and you're done! Yes, it actually is that fast. You will be able to upload your entire match with someone this way to share or submit for new moon turning. Keep in mind that Tango replay files are very small and you can also view them using the replay player with the play button without needing to export the video. Part 6. Settings, Auto Updating, Manual Updating. Let's go over some additional options and settings. You can change your nickname. Choose from different supported languages. Change the default window size of the game window. Or change the dark mode if you prefer that. You can edit your file paths for directories as well as advanced features. Unless you plan on hosting your own custom matchmaking server, you do not want to change any of the settings. In order to enable the auto updater, you need to make sure your update channel is set the latest. The about screen shows all of the awesome people that help make Tango happen. If a Tango update is out, your open instance of Tango will notify you of a purple settings icon. Once it has finished downloading the update, it will change the blue notification icon. Once you see this, you can update by closing Tango. In a moment, you will see the installer for the update pop up. If you don't see it, try going to your desktop and minimizing your windows. It can be hidden beneath your other program. The auto updater is not a fully supported feature, so if you have issues, please use the following method. 
Remember, TangledBattle.com always has the latest version, so you can always download and install over your current version of Tangled to update. The footage in this video was taken earlier and is already outdated on the same day. To get notified of new Tango updates, you can follow the Twitter account or join the Discord and keep track of the announcement channel. Part 7. Troubleshooting. If the Tango installer is not working, please make sure to disable your antivirus software to add an exception for Tango. If your ROMs are not showing up in a list, please make sure of the following. You are using the clean Japanese or US region ROMs. European ROMs are not supported in Tango, but they can be patched to become US region ROMs. If you have the correct region, please make sure your ROMs do not have patches modifying them. Tango expects the base ROM as it applies patches automatically using a single base ROM. If your ROMs have been dumped from your Wii U, then please use the patches provided in the video description link in order to modify them into compatible ROMs. And there you have it! Tango supports the Japanese and English versions of Battlenomic 3, Battlenomic 4, Battlenomic 4.5, Battlenomic 5, and Battlenomic 6. Good luck, have fun!